dogs are having a rainy day breakfast. <laughs> yeah, boy. Pancakes, bacon, all vegan, including the butter. Yeah. And so are the dogs. Civic SI 2018. Uh, I gotta say, I've gotten a lot of cars over the years, but in many ways, uh, it's it's almost hard to, to actually fathom this, but the steering in this car uh, feels comparable to something like a McLaren. It's precise, it's responsive, uh, it's kind of shocking that a car like this is only 24 grand. It's gonna be hard to see this one go. is gone now. Not sure if you can tell the difference in the interior on this car. But what rolled up to the pad was the 2018 Hyundai Elantra Eco. And who am I to say no? I mean, I got a job to do to let you guys in on some cool cars. And I figured that I'm going to some big Hollywood shindig tonight. I might as well take a brand new car. In fact, this car only has 657 miles on it. Speaking of a Hollywood shindig, uh, what we're doing tonight is going to the Hollywood Museum for a red carpet event. It's called Batman 66. It's a, a new exhibit that's gonna be happening at the Hollywood Museum. And tonight is the launch party. So uh, what's cool about that is that the original cast is gonna be there, a couple of Batmobiles, and of course, yours truly, which, you know, I just, that's something I just gotta do. But what they don't know is I'm bringing all you guys along with me. Just arrived in Hollywood. Recognize the stairs right there. That's from the Academy Awards. All the stars walk through here and go collect their awards up top in the theater. We gotta go down the street to the Hollywood Museum. Definitely open. Lots of stuff going on, people.
There's some cool stuff going on. Wow. This is great. Museum is pretty cool, man. What do you what do you like so far? What stands out? Gosh, it's everything. It's just the bottle. Yeah, the genie bottle. The it's, genie it's, bottle. It's pretty incredible. It's awesome. I was trying to rub it, but it couldn't get through the glass. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, that's it right there.
creepy down here. <laughs> it actually is really creepy. Cells of Silence of the Lambs. Wow, it is really creepy. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. Yep. time uh, that was a that was a blast you know there was there was a lot of things that we did certainly a lot of things that we saw at the uh, at the Hollywood Museum but the highlight oh man the highlight was uh, this shot with one of my favorite all-time actresses Lee Merriweather she was beautiful when she was Catwoman on Batman and she's beautiful now and it was it's just an incredible treat to be able to meet her even though I got back late just decided to come in here and do a little bit of drawing and uh, want to see a couple. We got two books happening. We got the, the book for the Channel Islands at Maritime Museum and Kathy's Mermaid book. This, this is her first Finnis sketch. There's the mermaid. Oh yeah, isn't she cute? And then of course we got Pirates. Pirates happening. Here's a sketch. That's one of them. There's going to be 20 of these. Doing kids books is very rewarding because uh, it's not that elaborate of a process and it's it's fun to do and, and before you know it you got the book in your hands and then you get to take steps to put those books in kids hands and that's that's a plus. But now I was looking through Instagram when I got back and uh, uh, we posted some photos and I just wanted to say thanks to some of those people that have, have uh, you know uh, continued to put comments on and supporting us and, and all the crazy insanity that we're doing. If you guys haven't subscribed to uh, The Great Breakaway, uh, he or she, I don't know if it's a girl or or a guy, I don't know who's doing this, but I have to say thank you because this person has gone above and beyond, out of their way, trying to support us and to let people know the stuff that we're doing. And thank you for that. I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate the constant support that is coming out of this person. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they are. I don't know if it's a man or a girl or some kind of alien creature. It could be an alien creature. I don't know. 239 JJ says, when I grow up, I want to be like you two. <laughs> well, I checked out your profile, man. It looks like you're doing pretty good for yourself. So right back at you. Julie Ellerton, who is a uh, photographer here in Malibu, uh, she says, uh, Batman and Robin, I, w I won't say who's who. That's the photo. I don't know, we could be Batman, you know. I also posted a photo, uh, this photo here, of uh, a Back to the Future concept. Really an amazing piece, and I asked, uh, you know, if they wanted to do a, a Back to the Future sequel, you know, should they? Chrissy, how one, you know, you know who you are, Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy says, I say no, leave the classic alone. We're not going to touch the classic. It's just, it's a sequel. You know, it's like Back to the Future Four, not a remake. 
Mario underscore Mercedes Benz says, no way. Tech Geek Traveler says, uh, thinking no. Big thumbs down. Friend of mine, Robert Hubbard, uh, uh, brother to Christopher Hubbard, R. Hubbard 16 says, ah, uh, that's amazing. And he also mentions, you know, they didn't want Planet doing a sequel for Blade Runner, and they did Blade Runner 2049. I, I personally like that movie. I know a lot of people didn't, but I'm not talking about remakes. I'm talking about sequels, baby. Anyway, thanks guys for, uh, for leaving comments. I'm gonna try to uh, to mention those comments, do some shout outs a little bit more often. Big thanks to uh, for the invitation going over to the Hollywood Museum. You guys should check that out. We're gonna go back. I think that Kathy and I are gonna go and check out more of that stuff. We're gonna be keeping working on the books. I'm gonna be showing you guys. And also we got Wheels and Waves. It's happening in about 10 days on the 21st. It's gonna be a spectacular show as always. And thanks for watching guys. We will see you tomorrow.